everyone, I'm Rue. Merry Christmas. This holiday is so amazing. I'm so glad you're all here to celebrate it. We've been following the team from The Source, a student newspaper in Arcadia High School. In the last few weeks, the team has had a lot of ups and downs. The school's principal was hurt, and Gabby's least favorite teacher, Mr. Dole, stepped in. Mr. Dole is now our principal. And that's a big deal, why? Because he hates me! And now my life is officially over. Mr. Dole has already made life more difficult for Gabby. Look, every time I think I'm about to finally get something good, it's immediately taken away. I think everyone deals with that sometimes. But it keeps happening to me. I lose my status, but I smile, I pick myself up, and I move on. I don't get a scholarship. But I smile and I push on, and now I lose out on being the editor of the paper that I started, and I lose it to my arch rival. I don't have any smiles left. Gabby and Mr. Dole's problems go way back, all the way back to last year. Let me see. Yeah, you definitely didn't deserve a C. Your points are really well made, your descriptions are really insightful. This is an A paper. Thanks, Mr. Corbin. What do I do? Don't do anything, okay? I will talk to Mr. Dole. I'll see why he gave you that grade. And their problems just keep getting tougher. It means that Principal Golden is taking the rest of the year off, and she's not coming back. Exactly. And the rumor has it, they're going to make Mr. Dole the permanent principal. Let's see if the Source team can get into the Christmas spirit, even when the tidings don't look so joyful. Gabby, good, you're here. Listen, we really need to talk. C can you give me a minute? I'm just trying to finish the Christmas article. Okay, but you're gonna wanna hear this. I know, just one second, please. What's your position, Bo Man? I'm under a desk inside the office. What is happening? Any new information? Watch your footsteps. Get back to me, J Mad. Bo Man out. Okay, over. What? <sighs> you seriously make things way too complicated. Okay. I'm gonna try to be cool about this, but can someone please tell me what's going on? Okay. But you're gonna wanna sit down. I'm fine. I'll stand. Hi, everyone. I found a rogue Bowie under the desk in the office. Somebody wanna tell me what's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Bowie, are you doing spy time? Spy time? What is spy time? Something he's not supposed oh, to be doing. I know. Look, I just wanna find out who's replacing Principal Golden. Ah. Uh, that's what this is about. Wait, what? Principal Golden's leaving for good? Yeah, we didn't really get the chance to tell her that she's not coming back. What do you mean she's not coming back? Principal Golden decided to take a sabbatical. Ah, that means an extended vacation and not something to do with the alphabet. Yes, thank you for that definition, Bowie. The school is currently searching for a replacement. It's gonna be Mr. Dole. Oh, I know it, I just know it. Okay, let's not jump to conclusions. The school will let us know who the new principal is by the end of the week. Now, there will be a lot of changes, but I have no doubt that the source will adjust accordingly. And let's leave spy time out of school. Miss Main? Perfect, there's no one in here. I knew Mr. Dole was out to get me! Whoa, slow down. What's going on? Oh, Mr. Dole strikes again. He canceled my Christmas article. What? Why? It was so good. Mr. Dole apparently didn't think so. <laughs> Jesse, don't joke about this. This is serious. Mr. Dole is becoming the Grinch. 
There is no Christmas cheer this year. Mr. Dole says he doesn't want to see any Christmas decorations or any Christmas disguises anywhere in the school. That means Rappy the Christmas gift. We can't even celebrate Christmas. It's inhuman. How can you not like Rappy the Christmas gift who delivers gifts? See, it's not just me. Bowie, you can still celebrate Christmas. You're being way too chill about this, Trixie. Because I know whatever happens, everything will be okay. How do you know? Because God has a plan, and I'm going to trust it. Well, it doesn't feel like God's plan is to help us. I feel like we're being punished. Excuse me. Bowie's right. We are being punished. I'm the one who wrote the article that makes Mr. Dole look bad. No, that was last year. I have to quit. I, I don't want you to be punished because Mr. Dole's mad at me. Gabby, you don't have to do that. No, I have to. It's the right thing to do. We can't give up now. I admire your determination, Trix. I'm with you. I gotta go. God, everything just feels wrong right now. Can you just help us? I'm not giving up my hope in you. Amen. As we know, Mr. Dole has canceled Christmas. We know what that means. It's time to come up with another plan. Uh, okay, I didn't want to do this, but it's time to break out camera Carl. Can I be picture Pete? Of course. Yes. Will you be the picture perfect duo? Anyway. So, here's the plan. We find Mr. Dole, and we try and take a picture of him doing something really embarrassing. I'm so on it. Uh, hold up. That's a definite no. People, now is not the time to do something foolish. Uh, the guy's taking Christmas away, Trixie. Now is definitely the time to do something foolish. No, now is not the time to do something foolish. Look, I've been thinking about it, and we're stronger than this. I think Trixie's right. I think we need to have hope that God is in control. You really believe this? Yeah, I do. I've seen him do so much already. A good friend reminded me of that. So what do we do? I don't know. Nice plan. We're definitely not doing that. What? You all need to stop freaking out over an if. A nif? Was that like a new type of animal? Hey look, there's a nif crawling across the floor. No. We are worrying about something that may happen. Okay, we don't know the future, but we are definitely letting fear ruin our present. But Mr. Dole is canceling everything, Miss May. I'm handling it. Now in the meantime, you do what you need to do and finish what you started. Miss Main is right. So Mr. Dole doesn't want Christmas. Fine, we'll write about something else. We're smart, we're talented, we'll figure something out. This school needs another issue of the source. So let's give them one. Yeah. Christmas? Decorations? What? What's going on here? Today's the day Mr. Dole becomes the permanent principal. And we'll be okay. Bowie, are you okay? Oh, Bowie, what were you thinking? Why did you put the decorations back up? Yeah, we're gonna be in so much trouble. It wasn't me! I came in and found it like this! Maybe it was a niff. Oh, Bowie, oh. those don't exist. What? Hey, hey, Christmas is back! Jesse, why did you put up the decorations again? Do you not realize how upset Mr. Dole's gonna be? I didn't do this. I promise I didn't do it. Okay, so if it wasn't any of us, then who did? 
Sorry, I just thought I'd make it a little more festive in here. Didn't quite feel like Christmas. Hey, guys, help me out here. I think I'm hearing voices. I thought I heard Mr. Corbin. <laughs> Is it really you? Ooh. Or is it just someone in disguise? Uh, nope, I think it's me. What are you doing here, Mr. C? You are looking at the new principal of Arcadia High. Veronica, you spoiled the surprise. I wanted to tell him. Well, it's my class now, Robert, so I get to share the good news. What? Veronica? Robert? All of the information that just came out of that conversation and that's what you picked up on? I've never heard teachers address each other as their first name, so I'm just shocked. Sure. Hold on, hold on. You're the new principal? Yeah, Principal Golden called me a couple of weeks ago and asked me if I'd be interested. But just until the end of the year? Principal Golden decided that this would be a great opportunity to retire. So I am the uh, <clears throat> permanent principal. What's well, a Christmas miracle? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How did you do that? Do you have like bags of tinsel in your pocket? It's my emergency stash. <clears throat> it's not quite a miracle. I mean, I had to apply, talk to the board, adult stuff. But Principal Golden's been wanting this for a while. The important thing is, is that you're back, Mr. C. I mean, Principal C. But what made you come back? Well, working with the magazine was fun, but it just didn't feel right. Being here, teaching you, leading you, this is where I'm meant to be. It's my purpose. This is the best Christmas ever. Give me a beat, Mr. Corbin. Oh. <clears throat> okay. 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 My name is Rappy, I'm here to say. Get up, get happy, it's Christmas Day. What? Word. I told you God always has a plan. Oh, he does. He definitely does. My name is Jesse, it's Christmas time. I don't got presents, but I give you this ride. Hey! <laughs> wow, that is wonderful. What an amazing gift. The Source team probably felt like everything was going against them. Then, Mr. Corbin came back and brought so much hope and joy with him. Have you ever felt like that? Like things are just so wrong or messed up, you ever wonder where God is? The Source team story is a great reminder of what Christmas is all about. We celebrate Christmas because of someone totally unexpected arriving. You see, back in Bible times, People waited a long time for God to do something amazing. Just when things were at their worst, God promised them that someone was coming, a king who was gonna change the world. But the longer people waited and the worse things got, the more they lost hope and even wondered if God remembered his promise. Then one night, God himself showed up. At Christmas, we celebrate the day God came to earth. He didn't come looking like a king or a ruler. Instead, God chose to be born as a helpless, tiny baby, and his name was Jesus. Think about that. God himself, the one who made this whole universe, showed up. He was born and grew up just like all of us. Jesus didn't stop there, though. As he grew up, he gave some incredible gifts to people. The first gift Jesus gave was truth. He taught them true things about God. Jesus showed everyone the truth, that God is so real and that he cares about every one of us. But Jesus had another gift to give. The second gift he gave was forgiveness. Jesus showed people again and again that he loved them, no matter what they had done. Nothing could stop him from caring about them, forgiving them, and loving them. That wasn't even the greatest gift Jesus wanted to give us though. Jesus had something incredible to give a gift for every person in the world. That final gift is love. Love means giving something up for the good of someone else. Jesus showed love by letting himself be hurt and even die for something that he didn't do. Think about that. Would you take the punishment for something someone else did? Wow, why did Jesus do that? Because of how much he loves you. When Jesus died, he took the punishment for every wrong thing we've ever done. 
When Jesus did that, it meant that nothing could ever separate us from God again. After Jesus died, he did something no one else can do. On the third day after he died, Jesus came back to life. When that happened, he proved that everything he said was true. Jesus gave us the chance to know God and follow him. He showed us that nothing can stop him from loving us. What an amazing gift. All that Jesus did, all these gifts, were for you and for me. Jesus is inviting every one of us, giving us the chance to follow him and have a relationship with God that will never end. If you wanna make that choice today, you can do that. All you have to do is talk to God. Tell him you believe Jesus died and came back to life and that you want to follow him with your whole life. If you're ready to make that decision, talk to your parent or a leader at church about it. Thanks for watching everyone. And once again, Merry Christmas.